Welcome to Arson Pulse. Today I'm going to tell you a new story about how to master the fit out business from my own experience. While I was working in uh, Jeddah Hilton, it's a very big project with like about uh, 400 uh, hotel rooms. It's a very big project with uh, Molteni company. It's a very famous Italian company. All the journey works was coming from Molteni from Italy. Uh, one of the areas uh, was the uh, business center. The business center was about uh, six uh, big meeting rooms with massive corridor area. And all these rooms were fully cladded with uh, veneer panels, wood veneer panels. So all these wood panels were coming as uh, labeled and marked from Molteni from Italy. And it was it's supposed to become to the right proper location. On site, as usual, uh, there are so many uh, factors that uh, play in uh, not achieving the plan as required. There will be always surprises in the site. So you have to be ready. To master the fit-out business, you have to be ready with plan B, with plan C, and in some cases with plan D. Don't take no as an answer. So. Um, in one of the rooms, it turns out that the panel that came to this particular room, it's oversized. It's not enough. The size, uh, so the size is big. It's too big. All the panels were having was having design. It's not plain panel. If it's plain panel, you can easily cut it from the side and fix it. No, it's coming with a design with a mold inside, so you cannot cut it. So the decision was made to fix this big panel and to shift the entire panels a little bit away and then the last piece, the end piece, we have to manage it and we have to uh, cut a little bit of it in order to uh, meet the corner, the other corner piece in a beautiful way. So this decision without proper experience and without proper knowledge of, about the sequences could never been taken. So if, if, it's, uh, if it's about a normal carpenter, he will sit, he will do nothing. Then it's the engineer responsibility and the manager responsibility to, to take the decision. And not only like this, he has to convince the designer and the main contractor of his decision. Why? Because in some cases it involves other works, like the socket. If you shift the panel, then the socket location might be shifted. If you shift this panel, then the furniture related to this panel might be shifted as well. So you need to take all this in your consideration in order to come up with a proper solution for your problem that will not create problems for others. So that's how to master the fit out business. It's not about solving your solutions and let others die. No, because eventually it's a boomerang effect. It will come back to you. They will say, why you did like this? Who told you to do like this? You need to coordinate, you need to convince, you need to give and take. In the same way, others, they face problem and we have taken the decision to help them in order to arrange their problems, in order to solve their problems in a way that will solve their problem but will not cause us a problem. So it's always a challenge to follow up the site work and to take the proper decision in order to uh, have a smooth work sequence, not to disturb the work and to get it done uh, as per the milestone and as per the target and as per the deadline. Mastering the fit-out business is about planning it well, planning it well in terms of sources, in terms of finance, in terms of time, in terms of relations with others, with suppliers, with subcontractors, in terms of the relation between the, 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 the team members, you have to have a command of all these factors and you have to combine it all together to come up with a smooth workflow to achieve your targets on time and with budget. You know, uh, once uh, a British project manager, he told me a very short uh, sentence, but it's very deep. 
and it's very much uh, useful. He said, as a project manager, you have to answer two questions. You will have all the resources you want, but at the end of the project, you have to answer two questions. Have you done it on time? And have you done it with budget? If you done it on time and it was over budget, then you are losing money. If you are done it with budget and you extended the time, then we might say we might face penalty. So we have to do it on time and with budget. I hope that you like the story and I thank you very much for watching this video and I hope that you stay with us for future videos talking more stories about how to master fit our business. Thank you very much.